वॉम गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर सविता इक्का डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ प्लांट पैथोलॉजी पिरसा एग्रीकल्चर यूनिवर्सिटी टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द डिजीजेज ऑफ चिक पी एंड देयर मैनेजमेंट दिस इज द कोर्स अंडर द कोर्स टाइटल डिजीजेज ऑफ फील्ड एंड हॉर्टिकल्चरल क्रॉप्स एंड देयर मैनेजमेंट एज वी नो अबाउट द चिक पी इज मेजर रबी क्रॉप ऑफ आर कंट्री but some uh, uh, constraints uh, occur in this crop is first one is uh, wilt wilt is major disease of chickpea caused by fusarium oxysporum caesaris another disease is escochyta blight which was caused by escochyta rebi next one is botrytis grey mold and the causal organism of this disease is botrytis cinerea another important disease is rust which was caused by uromyces faebi now coming to the wilt of chickpea this disease was first reported from india by butler in the year 1918 as we know that disease appear from early stage of plant growth that is 4 to week old plants are first affected by this disease up to flowering and podium some common wilt symptoms are flaccidity of leaves and succulent shoots discoloration and chlorosis or yellowing of leaves desiccation and drooping of petioles rashes and leaves the symptom extend to other plant parts finally the plant wilt collapse and die when the affected stem or the stem of affected plant split open a browning or blackening of xylem tissue are visible this is the characteristic symptom of the disease that is the blackening of xylem vessel now coming to the causal organism as we know about that causal organism is fusarium oxysporum pharma species cisseris this pathogen causes three types of conidia first one is microconidia macroconidia and one resting spore is chlamydospore this comes under the class uh, sorda rio mycetes order hypho cereals genus fusarium and species oxysporum sub species is cisseris now fusarium oxysporum survive non pathogenically as a mycelium complete with a mass of hyphae in soil with organic matter it is a saprophyte or a heterotroph that can obtain nutrient by consuming decomposing organic matter Fusarium oxysporum is characterized by three types of asexual spore. Microconidia is a smaller size conidia, one or two celled, more abundant and frequently produced by fungus under all condition. Macroconidia are larger conidia which are 3 to 5 celled, gradually pointed and curved towards the end. these spores are commonly found on the surface of plant killed by this pathogen as well as in sporodokia like group sporodokia is the fruiting body of fusarium another spore is chlamydospore this is the resting spore which is one or two celled round thick walled produced either terminally or intercalary on the older mycelium or in the macroconidia now coming to the disease cycle the fungus is facultative parasite live saprophytically on soil organic matter after harvest of the crop pathogen survive on host root in form of their resting spores this resting spore germinate and produce mycelium and in the mycelium microconidia and macroconidia are produced on specialized fruiting body that is sporodokia 
After production of micro and macro conidia, they germinate and produce germ tube which penetrate the host surface and enters into the after penetration it enters into the xylem vessel where it block the xylem tissue by multiply extensively and produced gum and block the vessel and ultimately the plant wilt and die the pathogen also survive in the infected seeds now coming to the management Always use disease free seed, grow some resistant variety like Avrodhi JG315, C214, Uday, Pusa362, Fule G5. Allow crop rotation for 5 to 6 years. Avoid showing when temperature is high. Then use proper balanced fertilizer and irrigation should be followed according to the schedule. Deep plowing with the help of mold bold plow in summer season to destroy the fungus in direct heat of the sun. Mixed cropping with mustard, wheat, barley also reduce the incidence of disease. Late and deep showing also reduces the incidence of wheat. This uh, is comes uh, under the culture practices. Now in chemical treatment or chemical control, seed treatment with uh, some bioagent like Trichoderma viridi at the rate of 4 gram per kg of soil or Pseudomonas fluorescent at the rate of 10 gram per kg of seed or Carbendazim or Therum. And these are the fungicide carbendazim and theorem at the rate of 2 gram per kg of seed eliminate the seed bond infection. Now when the disease appear in the field then soil drenching with carbendazim at the rate of 1 gram per liter is also effective. Next one is uh, you also apply pseudomonas fluorescence in rest with farm yard manure uh, or trichoderma uh, viridi enriched with farm yard manure at the rate of 2.5 kg per hectare with 50 gram 50 kg farm yard manure now uh, this is all about the wilt next one is ascochyta blight ascochyta blight is worldwide in distribution first described in india by butler in the year 1911 it occur in epidemic form in punjab and jammu it is an internally and externally seed born in nature night temperature of 10 degree centigrade and day temperature 20 degree centigrade and rain accompanied by cloudy days and extensive canopy favor the spread of disease. What are the symptoms of Ascochyta blight? Initial symptom of the disease appear near the tip of young shoots and top leaves. It infect all above crown plant parts but plant are more susceptible during their flowering stage. Ascochyta blight first appear as gray area on the leaves, stem or pod quickly turn into brown lesion with dark border. As the disease progress, small circular brown black dots like pycnidia, these dots are pycnidia of the pathogen, develop in the center of the lesion, frequently arranged in concentric circle and resemble a bull's eye. Concentric ring of pycnidia are most diagnostic characteristic of the disease. Infected seeds also discovered, uh, discolored, sunken or shriveled and when severe lesions with dark pycnidia may be present on the seed. The causal organism of the pathogen is 
एस्कोकाइटा रेबी एस्कोकाइटा रेबी एग्जिस्ट बोथ एज अ एनामॉर्फिक फॉर्म मीन्स ए सेक्सुअल स्टेज एंड टेलीमॉर्फिक फॉर मीन्स सेक्सुअल स्टेज देयर माइसीलियम आर पेल क्रीम इन कलर दे प्रोड्यूस्ड ए सेक्सुअल स्पोर दैट इज पिकनियो स्पोर विच वॉज प्रोड्यूस्ड इन दी ए सेक्सुअल फ्रूटिंग बडी पिकनीडिया एंड देयर सेक्सुअल स्पोर इज एस्को स्पोर्स विच आर प्रोड्यूस्ड इन सेक्सुअल फ्रूटिंग बडी दैट इज सीडोथीसियम इट बिलोंग्स टू दी ऑर्डर स्पेरॉक्सीडेल्स एंड फैमिली माइकोज फेरिली the disease cycle of uh, escocaita rebi is mm, the pathogen is seed born in nature it can also overwinter in field stubbles their sexual spore that is ascospores are produced in field stubble or seed and dispersed by wind the disease can be devastating in the areas where cool cool temperature that is 15 to 25 degree centigrade temperature and relative humidity prevail during the crop growth ascospores that land on the chickpea leaves and stem need at least 2 hours due to germinate uh, for the management of disease we always use disease free seed follow crop rotation intercrop with wheat barley mustard application of 40 to 60 kg potash along with 20 kg nitrogen and 40 kg phosphorus reduces the severity of disease the seed borne infection can be eliminated by seed treatment with carbendazim at the rate of 1 g per kg of seed the foliar spray of mancozib at the rate of 2.5 g per liter or calixin m at the rate of 900 g per hectare second significantly control the secondary infection last disease of uh, chickpea is botrytis grey mold botrytis grey mold caused by botrytis cinerea is the second most potentially important disease of chickpea after escocaita blight the first occurrence of the disease was reported from india by saw and ajerkar in the year 1915 and later by butler and bispay in the year 1931 the first epidemic of botrytis grey mold was reported in the year 1965 in argentina which resulted in crop loss of 95 percent coming to the symptom the pathogen attack all aerial parts of the plants including flower birds branches and stems initial symptom appear as small water soaked spots which enlarge and become brown in color after some time these spots are covered with dense fluffy fungal growth such growth is normally visible on the flower buds and young branches which are in the center of the plant canopy and remain wet due to high humidity diseased branch hang down due to rotting of tissue on the stem moldy growth is replaced by black sporodokia sporodokia is its asexual fruiting body infected plants produced shriveled seeds now the causal organism is botrytis cinerea it is an asexual stage of necrophytic fungus necrophytic means kill and feed on the cell of dead plant the generic name botrytis is derived from the classic greek word botrus meaning grapes grapes refers to branching of conidia its conidia are produced in a uh, bunches uh, produced like bunches of grapes that's why it known as botrytis it uh, belongs to the class hypomycetes order 
monilials and family moniliaceae. Uh, the sexual stage is botryotenia fucilinia. It belongs to its sexual stage produces ascospores. Ascospore is its sexual uh, spore which formed inside the SI. This uh, sexual stage comes under the class Discomycetes order Helotales family Sclero. The fungus survive in infected seeds as well as plant debris left in the field both in parasitic and saprophytic form. It can also survive as in form of sclerotia. Sclerotia is its resting spore. These sclerotia germinate under favorable condition and produces apothecium. Apothecium is its sexual fruiting body which bear SI and ascospores. Ascospores, they are sexual spores germinate and produce germ tube which proliferate saprophytically and form mycelium mat on the host surface. The disease spread fast in the month of February and March. High humidity and leaf wetness beyond 12 hours at 20 to 25 degrees centigrade are congenial for successful establishment of pathogen. Now how to manage the botrytis see, uh, uh, blight of chickpea? First we remove and destroy dead plant residue and infected plants use disease free seed seed born enough infection may be eliminated by seed treatment with carbendazim at the rate of 2 gram per kg of seed secondary infection is effectively managed through foliar spray of mancojeb at the rate of 2.5 gram per liter of water Late showing in first fortnight of November, low seed rate, wider row and plant spacing, erect and tall varieties help in reducing the incidence of disease. We can also reduce the disease incidence by removing faded flower before petal fall. This is all about the diseases of chickpea and their management. Thank you.